Prove that if m is even, then m squared is even. Proof. So this is an if-then statement. So it's an if this is true, then this is true. So it's an if p, then q statement. So this is an if p, then q statement. So in other words, it's a p implies q statement. So in general, in mathematics, when you have something that says, if this is true, then this is true, one way to prove it is using something called a direct proof. And so you just assume the p part is true, then you show the q part is true. So we'll start the proof by assuming that m is even. So we'll start by saying, suppose m is even. That's the correct way to start the proof. Now we have to show the q part. We have to show m squared is even. Um, however, we can't do it quite yet, right? So naturally, we have to use our assumption. So recall, uh, an integer is even if it's a multiple of 2. So then you write down what it means for something to be even. So then, so let's just say this means m is a multiple of 2. So what does that mean? Recall, it means that m equals 2k for some integer k. That's what it means for an integer to be even. So for some integer k. So now we've used our hypothesis. We've used p, right? We wrote, we assumed p was true. We wrote down what, what it meant. And so now the only thing left to do is to look at m squared. So now we write down m squared. So then m squared, well, we just square both sides. m is equal to 2k, so it's 2k squared. And you can just square each piece, so you end up with 4k squared. So now you pause. You say, okay, what are, what are we even trying to do? Right? We're trying to show that m squared is even. So we're trying to show that m squared is a multiple of 2. So what you can do is you can pull out a 2 and write this as 2k squared. So it's 2 times an integer, right? This is, this is like your k up here. You see, for some integer k, here's your k. This whole piece here is our k, right here, this whole thing here. So all you have to do now is specify that this is an integer. So you would say where 2k squared is an integer. So we've showed that m squared is equal to 2 times an integer. This is precisely what it means for m squared to be even. Right? And let's go ahead and write that down. This is precisely what it means. This is precisely what it means for m squared to be even. m squared to be even. And that's a proof. Right, that, that's a solid proof. Um, when you finish the proof, it's good to use a symbol. You can use any symbol you like. I like my symbol. It's a box with an X. I hope this video has been helpful.